With me as always, I got my brother Dan. That's right. And we got today our special guest, my boy Fabian here. Thank, thanks, for coming, thanks for coming on, Fabian. Thanks. Uh, to break the ice a little bit, we like to take a little shot of our, our preference here. Um, so I'm going to let you go ahead and pick first on what you want to drink. You got a little tequila, got a little whiskey, a little cognac, and then uh, we got some vodka. So we got some variety for you. Uh, let's do the... What kind of flavor is the vodka? This is a mango. mango. Ooh, let's do mango. Let's do mango. All right, go with the rock boy. I'm going to go the same. Uh, just because he's your friend, huh? No. Because the tequila was a little rough. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, let's see. Well, I'm going to have you pour that while I pour mine. I'm going to just keep it. Keep it with the keep tequila? It, keep it with the tequila. Keep it going. Oh. That smells fruity. It is pretty good one. It's mango. <laughs> I picked a good one. <laughs> I picked a good one. There you go. I'm pour uh, mine. Who decides to do this on Sunday, man, in the morning? <laughs> we do. Sunday fun day. Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. Like Darius said on the last one, on the Lord's Day. <laughs> the Lord's Day. Amen. Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, you got them online? Nope. Oh, straight. Oh, actually, yeah. I'll take it online because I'm only going to have a tequila. Yeah. But yeah, man. Cheers, Cheers. man. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for coming on. Thank Cheers. you. going uh we got some segment segments for you uh a couple questions different categories uh some are going to be multiple choice some we're just hope that you know all right you know so we're going to have a uh, danny go ahead and take it off with the first with the first one here might as well just right. give me the bottle keep it close um oh yeah so quick real quick the in case you forgot about the the, the rules oh, yeah. um if you got you, we're gonna ask you three sets of uh, questions with three questions each um, if you get two out of the three wrong, you got to take a shot. All right. If you get all three right, we take a shot. All right. Okay, so pretty simple. Um, if you guys are enjoying this, uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment um, on what you guys think about it. All right. And you can take shots as well if you get some wrong. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> Put a little spin on it. Um, okay, so you got a low rider. Yep. I got some questions for you about, for you about low riders. Okay. okay. First one is... What is the most common car used for a lowrider? Before you answer, we did our little research, and this is the, the answer that we got. So, all right, go ahead and answer. You want you want multiple choice? Yeah, no, don't give multiple choice. What? Because I didn't put any multiple choices. <laughs> I, I could, I could. Okay, good. Could good, good. good. So, Chevy Malibu, Chevy Impala, the Bel Air, or the Caprice? Ooh, I'm gonna have to go with Impala. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> the Caprice? The Caprice. The no Caprice way. Is the top one. <laughs> yeah, this is Google. If you guys want to do your research, it, that's what Google brought up to us. So the Caprice is the most common use. I thought uh, Impala was, was going to be the yeah, one. I would have thought so too. But. Well, that was a toss up between the Impala and the Caprice. Really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. He, so knows this, he knows this shit. He knows yeah, shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, next question Where was the first Lowrider show held? Is it A, Oakland San Antonio Park? B, East Los Angeles, Orange County, or Compton? San Antonio. You got it. Ooh, you got it. You got it. man. Okay. Do you know what year that was? Probably in the, in the 60s. Probably. I don't, I don't even know that part. Yeah, probably what's before a, that. What's uh, the first show that you attended? Mm, the Sacramento Lowrider <laughs> show at, uh, at uh, Cal Expo. Okay. Yeah. So when was that held? <clears throat> that was in... Uh, I want to say it was 96. Oh, damn, that was a while back. Yeah, yeah that was a while yeah. back. Yeah, 94, 96, it was around in early 90s. Is that kind of what made you get into lowriders, or, or what What was it that kind of drew you to that? Uh, Yeah, dude, I mean, I've always liked the styles and the colors and and, and the work that, that people put into it, you right. know what I mean, and the reaction you get from people when you're driving down the street. Yeah. It's something that you just don't, it's not a, like a Toyota Camry. Yeah, for you know sure. You I mean? Yeah, something different. Yeah, Way you, different. You, you jump out, you know, because, you know, not only that you have crazy paint or you got your music blaring, but you got smaller rims, you got gold rims, right. chrome rims, you know, the white wall tire, which they don't even 
you know, you don't see no new cars with white wall tires. Right, exactly. So it's just like a classic look. You know what I mean? I just always liked them. Oh man. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I I remember back in the day when I was younger too. I, there was a little time, a little era where I, where I went through. I was I was I was man. I was getting the Lowrider magazine. I was yeah. all into Lowrider. <laughs> yeah. I had a twelve month subscription to Lowrider, man. Every month I, I would wait. We we shared a room, and he always had that big old poster of the Lowriders. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I was all about that. Man. Yeah. I, I, I wanted I, I wanted an Apollo too, man. That was like one of my. Uh, um, you know, my favorite cars, and I was like, man, I got, I, I always wanted to get one. Yeah. It was all my thing, but I just, like I said, it just, times changed, and kind of just moved on to the next thing. So, Not yeah. just that, but you have family. True. Yeah. Priorities change, you buy well, I mean, this, Yeah, th well, this was when I was younger. This is like when I was talking about, like, 12, 13. Yeah, yeah. I was, like, in that whole freaking lowrider mood, so I'm like, lowrider, lowrider. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, next question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many spokes does a 100-spoke rim have? <laughs> that was stupid, bro. <laughs> we try to play a bite trick on you. <laughs> You're like, huh? Oh, oh no. Is it 50, 60, 75, or 100? <laughs> that's weird because they don't even make a 75, bro. They make a 72. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Fun fact, a little fun fact. Yeah. How many of you, did you get one wrong? No, I got one wrong. Yeah, you got okay. one wrong. So okay. you got two right, so he, he's just safe. Yeah, you're safe. He's safe for that one. Nobody has to take a shot on this one. <laughs> Did a little research on you, and I uh, heard you like the Raiders. You're a fan of your Raiders. Yeah. He's like, oh, God. <laughs> so let, let's see how well you know your Raiders. All right. Um, just, he's like, there you go. Just, <laughs> just get it started. Yeah. He's like, I like watching him. I don't know much about him. <laughs> All right. Let's start with this question right here. How many Super Bowls have the Raiders won? Is it zero? <laughs> is it Let's one? Go. Is it three? Or is it 18? I'm going to say three. Damn. Ding, ding, ding. Got it. There you go. This is the most reasonable one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 18? Hell. Hell. Oh, wow. <laughs> Turn off the camera. <laughs> All right. Uh, next question here. Who has played with the Raiders the longest? Now, this is not going to be a multiple choice. It's just going to be a, let's just see how well you know. The guy with short hair. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you got it right. <laughs> uh, so the question to answer that one is actually Janikowski. Oh, Janikowski. Uh, the kicker. Yeah, he's been there for 17 seasons. Long, wow, the longest in, in history, man. Wow, that's crazy. That's wild. Yeah. The longest ever played for the freaking Raiders. Oh, yeah. um, all right, third and final question. So that's one wrong. You got to get this one right. Yep. Uh, or, or else you're going to be taking that shot you got there. All right. Uh, how how long were the Raiders in Los Angeles? Was it ten seasons, thirteen seasons, fifteen seasons, or twenty seasons? Ten seasons. Take <laughs> 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 well, a shot. Uh, thirteen seasons. Thirteen. Yeah, that's okay. It, it was from uh, from eighty two to ninety five. <clears throat> God, my brother in law is going to be so disappointed. <laughs> he's he's a a diehard. Diehard. Oh, bro, he's a diehard. Is he? Yeah. T tell him, tell him not to watch this video. Don't watch. <laughs> I know, right? Big deal. <laughs> so, Fabian, um, you're obviously you're from Argentina. Yep. Um, and you embrace the Chicano culture. Yep. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. What got you into that? And into what? There's just getting into the Chicano culture and just embracing that. Um, well, there's, not, there's if, a lot if, of. Any, if anybody would just look at you, they would not never know you're from Argentina. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of similarities to our culture you know what i mean like the respect the family right right you know what i mean so so when when i moved back here after i lived over there for 10 years yeah when i moved back it was just cool i was more uh dragged into just because of my of my style of living mm -hmm. you know what i mean so i was just always been around hispanic people my right. whole life I've always worked around Hispanic people my whole life. Yeah, yeah. So, and my kids are half Hispanic. So, yeah. like, so I never went away from that 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 lifestyle. You know what I mean? And then, you know, with the whole lowrider culture, you know, yeah. that throws you. You know, I'm not just saying that you know Chicanos are only the only ones that 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 do lowriding, but right. You know, there's there's African American, there's Asian, there's uh, people from Fiji, there's there's all different races yeah. that that like it. So. Uh, so I've just always embraced it, you know what I mean? You know, I, I have nothing but love, you know, for, for the Chicano culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? Respect. Yeah. Cool. Right on, man. Respect. So with that being said, <clears throat> moving on to the next category. 
<clears throat> what color is the Argentinian flag and what symbol does it have? It is uh, baby blue, white, with a sun, with baby blue at the bottom. Got that to the yeah. freaking T, man. Like you, like you had it hung up yeah. on his wall or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a face on the sun, too. It's yeah. not just yeah. the sun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what effects is that? What, 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 what's that? You know the history behind that? No, I actually, I don't. Oh, okay. I don't. Yeah. yeah. I just know you're that. like you're asking I'm not that smart, bro. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Martini, I'm from you're there. You're a little more than that, too. Right? <clears throat> All right. Next one. What is the biggest province in Argentina? You know. You know. Buenos Aires? Ah, Iralo? Iralo? Okay. Because I live there. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that where the majority of the people live? Well, that's the capital of uh, Argentina. Oh, okay. Buenos yeah. Aires. Yeah. Right, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Sense. All right. Last and final question: What is the most famous food of Argentina? The barbecue, steak. Damn, that's what it is. Right? Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Argentina is known for their beef, bro. It's like the yeah, second. Yeah, yeah. It's the Shit. second. Uh, that means I gotta take a shot. <laughs> okay, you got, yeah, yeah, you got three right, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so what were you saying about salad? Uh, no, that Argentina uh, has one of the best, uh, the second best uh, beef in the world. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? They can't export it here. Oh, they can't? No, it's illegal because everything's like free range grass fed. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, it has one of uh, the best uh, beef. No? Yeah. Awesome, man. Hey, learn something new every day, right? Yeah. We're going next year. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go. A little trip. All right, man. Well, yeah, since, since we lost that one. Yeah, yeah drink up, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. Woo! Cheers. Uh, oh, come on. Man, oh man, I'm supposed to with the beer. <laughs> Doesn't make it a little better, huh? <clears throat> I'll pick it, Will. Speaking of lowriders, you have a 77 Malibu? Yep. Tell me what you, what made you get into that, aside from all the, the main like, ones. What made you choose that car? Yeah. <clears throat> I've always wanted a, I always wanted something unique, yeah. kind of different than everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? No disrespect to anybody that knows somebody that has an Impala or, or a Caprice or or a Cadillac, I just wanted something different. And if you if you look out there, like on the streets, like you'll never see a 77 Malibu. It's just like, I mean, to me, if you ask me, it's like a unicorn. Like you just don't yeah, yeah. see them. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I think there's one other guy out here in SAC that has one. Yeah. And he's he's working on it. Yeah, whenever whenever I went out to all the little meets or shows or whatever, that you're the only one. That yeah, you'll see a hundred. Or 200 or 300 or 400 Impalas of every year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I would love to own an Impala, right. but but my my calling was that 77 Malibu. You know what I mean? I saw it and you know, luckily the guy was selling it. Yeah. And uh, and I had the money and I just I just got it. There you go. You know what I mean? And you're currently working on it right now, huh? Yeah. It's I all apart. Yeah, I got the motor out and the transmission out. And <clears throat> I'm gonna clean up the firewall and paint the engine bay and I painted the block and I got a uh, wheel wells are getting uh, powder coated and I got a whole bunch of stuff going out down uh, Southern California yeah on Monday to get chrome plated there you go so are you so, driving out there or are you or should no be? I'm gonna just uh, actually I'm gonna do it like super ghetto and I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on Greyhound <laughs> I'm gonna buy a ticket for Greyhound and put it underneath what the part hell? of my luggage, <laughs> and homeboy's gonna pick it up on the way. Uh, really? Yeah. That's how that funny. It yeah, because it's like eighty nine bucks to like send it through Greyhound. That's how easy smart. money. Easy yeah. money. That's yeah. Smart. I never even thought of that. Yeah. You just put it underneath there, and then mm -hmm. homeboy will pick it up at the, at the Greyhound. <laughs> that didn't even get it. That's actually pretty damn smart. Yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> so way you better. Know than... that guy personally, or? No, actually, it got uh, referred to me by uh, my boy Antonio. He, uh, he's building a 67 Yeah, and I just hit him up on Instagram. I was like, Hey bro, do you know anybody that, uh, that does chrome plating for mm -hmm. a decent price? And, uh, and, uh, he shot me the info for this guy oh, Okay. and I shot him a picture and he was like, yeah, dude, I'll do everything for, you know, a thousand bucks. There you go. So I'm just going to send it out there. Cool. Yeah. Right on, man. Good to be ready for the summertime. <laughs> I'm hoping man. for all the cruises. <laughs> I'm hoping by at least by the end of March, bro. Because right now it's like a three, like two week, <clears throat> to three week turnaround time on mm -hmm. the crumple Yeah. And I still gotta paint the engine bay. And uh, and basically just mock everything up. Yeah, yeah. You know, but uh, yeah. 
I mean, we, should, we, we still got like five, six months until summertime anyway. So yeah, I know. But it'd be good. Yeah. yeah, ready to go. Yeah, but there's a car show on April 10th. So <laughs> you got to be there. So you okay. got to be there. So yeah. Fingers how crossed. many? Uh, yeah, how many car shows do you try to hit? You try to hit every single one that comes to SAC. I I basically go to every single car show in SAC mm -hmm. unless you know I got something else going. But I I majority no. most of the time I hit up every single car show. There you go. Yeah. Man, so. Yeah, like that's the, the only thing that I like to do. Yeah. I mean, hey, everybody has their thing. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Like I, I try to make it to every single mm -hmm. one. It's cool. You know, I get my ice chest ready. I get the beer ready. Yeah, I get yeah. the snacks ready. And Modelo time. Yeah, yeah, Modelo <laughs> yeah, yeah, time. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, we definitely got to go to the next one, man. Yeah, dude. Go I mean, they're fun. I mean, everybody's welcome. Yeah. Right, you know right. What I mean? It doesn't yeah. matter if you have a car or not. Yeah, no. You know I, what I mean? It's I, just I, like, I would go for, yeah, for like the, the vibes. Yeah, know? dude. Especially sure. yeah, like if you have little kids and they see a car jumping or, or, mm -hmm. or on three wheels and stuff like that. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, how often do you ever see that? Yeah, you know. Like when you see a car, you just see it driving. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, yeah. it's, it's cool. Definitely yeah. got to take the kids out there. You know what I mean? And you're supporting like small businesses, basically. Because sure. all these people come out and cater and make are making tacos and. You know the lady that's selling the low, you know the low religious bracelets or the, yeah, or, the yeah. or the rosary stuff and all that. You're just supporting all everybody. There you, you know go. Uh, so real quick, what, when's the what, when and where is the actual the next uh, show? So the, uh, the next show is gonna be April 10th at uh, BC Fabrications off of Sunrise. Okay. Uh, it starts at noon and is and it goes out till like six o'clock, and then that <laughs> same day. The guy that puts on the Sunrise Cruise mm -hmm. is doing that cruise that day. So basically at 6 o'clock, everybody from the car show is going to shoot out down Sunrise all the way up to Lowe's. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be off the hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. yeah. yeah well, be sure to attend that. Exactly. Yeah. Be sure to be there. Come out, support. You know what I mean? Show some love. Yeah. Support the community. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, it's been really fun having you on here, man. Re cool, really man. fun getting to Appreciate know you, you a little bit on. more. Yeah. Exactly. You know, I mean, th this is what we try to do. We just try to get to know, you know, you guys a little bit more personally and uh, and just have some fun over some drinks. You know, that's pretty much all it is. Uh, you know, did you enjoy it today? Oh, hell yeah. Right on, yeah. man. Yeah, well, like I said, we time. appreciate you having us on here. Um, again, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, uh, like, and comment. Uh, until next time, la ultima y nos vamos. Bye.